Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop. I'm joined by Jerry. Hola. And today, we have some Wild West Exodus. We what do. Got, Jerry? We've got the Golden Army, mm -hmm. which is a posse set containing various Mexicans. Yes. Don't be a Mexican or a Mexican. I'll be a Mexican, not a Mexican. That's the best way I feel. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to open this up and start I, I do want to open this up because I really like these boxes. Yeah. These, there's a real nice sort of, I don't know, class to the boxes from Wild West Exodus. They just feel nice. Also, it means I don't have to try and get my fingertip in under a little flappy bit Tab. and try and yeah. open it up because that's being the backside will never happen. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, having a look at who all you're getting. So we've got Poncho Villa. Yes. I'm not going to pronounce a lot of these names. Here's the list. That's terrible. Uh, Rocco Bernal, Catalina Romero, Rosaria Mendez, Procopio. I'll let you do all those. <laughs> and some dogs. Yes, the, the canine attack dogs. Canine, I'll have a look at them first because they're different. Yeah. Special. Well, I've been clever with my iPad, I hope. Been clever with my iPad, I hope. Yeah, there we Ooh. go. So there is their thing. So these are plastic and they're quite lovely. So you get two in the box. And I believe you get like three head options with them? Five if you include regular dog faces and not guns or drills. Ah, Although, if you ever have the option to have a attack dog with a drill or kill face, mm. why not have an attack dog with a drill or kill face? See, I don't know. I always kind of like the Alsatian type head on these. That's okay, but it's no drill or kill face. Oh, I know, I know. But... Imagine getting that roughly from behind, buckwheat style <laughs> uh, The details on these are quite nice. You've got some nice mechanical bits going on for the fore and aft legs and some nice posing here. Mm. Uh, Rules-wise, yes. quick look. Here. They have rules. The artwork's lovely, and what they get is special rules. Rapid, this unit can focus move actions for no additional cost. Oh, that's nice. So they can basically do a double move. Uh, their attack is Steel Jaws, uh, the melee attack, piercing minus one, rate of attack two. So they can just, you know, go up and nibble on your kneecaps. It's one way of doing it, certainly. Mm -hmm. I That's was attempting to very cleverly take out stuff in advance here. Yeah. Uh, but what they've done in some sort of clever, you like Lego, we like Lego, you like puzzles, we like puzzles. Mm -hmm. They're not individual bags for individual things. So the first bag I opened up there contained quite a lot of arms and legs and new bodies. So... There is the body of a lady, ah. and she has a sniper rifle. I see. So I think that's Mendez. Is it Mendez? Um, possibly. Oh, this is why we have iPads. Could be. I personally don't because they're a terrible thing. But you know, other people have iPads. It's not their fault. So is that the uh, Rosara you're on about? Or no, it's the sniper, isn't it? No, it's it? the sniper. Aye, that's uh, Catalina Romero. Catalina Romero. Yeah. I was so close. Yeah. So let's get a closer look at the component here. So it's actually a really nice sniper pose with the, the foot up on a box as if she's just on top of the, the local hotel shooting down into the crowd. It's where I'd like to be if I had a sniper rifle. Mm. Uh, the rifle itself, uh, casting is quite nice and straight. Great detail. I always love just how over-engineered some of the sculpting is on the Wild West Exodus stuff. They're carrying everything. Well, why not? It is the Old West in the future, after all. Mm -hmm. I found the rest of her. Found the ass end. <laughs> and well, work. what you find is the box, her boot, her arm, her hat, which appears is it optional? Uh, it sticks on the back of her neck because it's down. Ah, I see. So it could be optional. And the the actual. Oh no, not optional. Oh no, you have to put that on. <laughs> Only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun without a hat. <laughs> you know how hot it is in the Wild West Exodus. Yeah, yeah. that or Marty McFly. Lovely little piece. Mm. Uh, let's have a quick look at her on the iPad. So what do we have here? She's got basic melee weapon. She's got just pistol, which can be overcharged, range 10, piercing minus 2, rate of attack 1. The just sniper rifle is really nice. 22 inch range in this game is quite huge. Uh, anything else really nice about her? Mm. I think I'll have to read these while she's being built. The sculpt's nice. It is. Speaking of ladies, let's have yes. a look at another. Yes, I believe that will be this one. It will. Rosario Mendez. Rosaria? Okay. Uh, rocking around with a loudspeaker. 
not just a loudspeaker. She's got a boombox that she stands on. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. Because there's no point in having a loudspeaker. That's not loud enough. You really need to be able to get your message across. Mm -hmm. And the message is this. Lovely details. I love the, the way they've caught the sort of flow to the, the dress on her. Very nice. All right, let's have a look and see what she offers up. The artwork's fun. She does just look like a rabble riser. And she comes with a couple of fortune, which is always good. Uh, just pistol. And she has the voice of revolution. So that's not just a loudspeaker. It's a weapon. Could be. So it's a torrent. So it's going to work off the template. Piercing minus three rate of attack one. Nice. Viva la revolution. Yeah, I would guess so. Uh, ah, she's got a special ability. Compel. For two action points, this unit may select a target unit, friend or foe within eight. That target unit must make a mind check. If the mind check is passed, nothing happens. If the check fails, the selected unit is compelled and must immediately make an action of this unit's choice. The action counts as a free action and cannot be focused or use fortune for the duration of the action. The compelled unit counts as a friendly as friendly to this unit. Okay, that's that's quite fun. So basically, if somebody has brought along something that's big and super tough, mm -hmm. but that isn't very smart, you can have her shout at them and make them maybe shoot their friends or oh, well, hit their good. friends in the face. We're all for that. That's, There's a lot to be said about shooting your friends. That's good, clean family fun. Yeah. Now, we have a choice. Uh huh. I'm going to go with this one because I think that belongs to. I think that's Poncho Villa. Yep. So I'll pull up his card just to have it here. And there he is there. Nice crisp, de crisp detail on these, which I always like about the Wildest Extra stuff. And then I assume his other components are in that little baggie with everybody else. It could be. I mean, we've got a choice of multiple limbs. Mm. Limbs, yeah, all the arms, all the legs are together for all three of the male nice. miniatures. Well, let's, let's show off so. all the bodies then. So this will be some of our other characters here as well. I love the bandoliers and just how ornate some of this is. You know, one step away from mariachis. <laughs> I think they have a, a very close to mariachi unit. Good. Are you happy with, with that? Yes. Well, we've all seen El Mariachi. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't, what have you done with your lives? Yeah, Go so out immediately and watch that. Arms and heads with the huge sombreros, which are really nice. Uh, we have a loose head sitting there. Yep. It belongs to someone. It your belongs guess to is someone. as good as mine. Really nice detail on here. They've actually sculpted a teeny weeny little uh, beard and goatee on there, which is nice. Van Dyke. Van Dyke, is that what that's called? Yeah. Ah, I see. Yes, yeah, you're, you're always teaching me mm. things. And then we've got the weaponry. So we've got a massive laser Gatling gun, and these, now these pistols are actually almost historically accurate. Right. So uh, it was a documentary I was watching a while back about strange weapons from, you know, the, the time period. Okay. And they actually had a revolver, which was a six-shooter, yes. and then they had a bigger wheel on it, which was multiple sort of uh, chambers right. holding six shots. I think it was a French design. All right. So... Yeah, so instead of just firing off six shots, you'd have 30 or 36. Or yes, so you would, you would fire your six, and then instead of having to completely redo it, you just rotate it to the next chamber, and then it would fire and rotate as well. It was a very odd design. There's it some really strange ones out there. Sounds, sounds prone to malfunction. Let's put it like that. Possib possibly, possibly. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the, the head honcho himself here. Mm. So this is Poncho Villa. Uh, what's he got here? Just pistol, Destiny, which is... Wow, so this is his big Gatling gun at the, the bottom here. Range 15, rate of attack 3, and piercing 3. That is monstrous in this game. Uh, he's bloodthirsty, he's got, or the ladies. Nice. Because we know the history of this guy. Uh, inspirational, shrewd strategist, and dying breath. Ah, dying breath cool. Should this unit be destroyed, it can make a free combat action before being removed from play. So he can just go, ah, I die, but I take you with me. Right, Jerry. With my money. I think I'm going to let you build this lot. Now, I know there's another very baggie of legs and stuff. Very decent there. of you. No, the, the only other, uh, with that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to start tipping legs out. No, no, we'll, we'll get them built and we'll yeah. let everybody see them once they're together. Gary? Yes? How was the build? Peachy. I do find the super glue works really well on whatever resin it is that the guys at Wild West Exodus use. Yes. You know, it, it really does get a very quick bite to it. That's because, you know, I wash them all before I glue them together. <laughs> That's how you get a really good bite to them. All right, uh, where do we want to start here? Let's start with, well, let's start with the dags. The dogs? Do you like dags? We like dogs. 
Yeah, Dax. Do you like dogs? Dogs. What? Yeah, dogs. Dogs. Do you like dogs? Ah, oh, dogs. We like dogs. We like dogs. All right, so we've got little puppy here with a chompy chompy face. Looking rather nice. I'm impressed you did put the drill kill face on the other one. I, I knew you would never forgive me if I didn't yep. give you the Doberman drill kill face. You are correct. I would not have. You know. You know that and at the time of filming we're just about to go away for salute, so... You know, I don't want to have to buy you pints the whole weekend to say I'm sorry. Yep. It's very true. The puppies very, are nice. Very expensive for you. I, well, we'll be in London. The, the, wow. The resins are gorgeous. Yeah, I, I always love the, the design work that the guys are doing here because they really capture the, the imagination a little bit. You know, Pancho Vila with his massive rotary laser Gatling gun. It's, uh, it's certainly a look. It is. Let's put it like that. It is. There's a nice sense of motion to the miniature as well. There is. Who's next? Uh, I have no idea. I think that is Procopio, is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's Hericle Bernal. Hericle Bernal. Okay. Uh, nice pose. Uh, I see that they have decided to go for big rock on foot. Big, big foot on rock? <laughs> I don't think anyone makes big foot yet. Actually, is there any miniatures of big foot out there? Yeah. I, why do we not have a big foot in this game? It's, it's uh, Orc Whale, I'm looking at you. Too far south, probably. Is Pacific Northwest? I don't know because it's an entire world now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. In that case, whenever they go to the Pacific Northwest, yeah, where, where where nothing lives. <laughs> uh, we then have this lovely lady. Yep. I love the boombox. I love the boombox. It's really cool. And she does just look like Princess Leia so much. Yeah, I looked at the hairstyle and it was just like, wait, Leia? It's not just the hairstyle, it's also her pistol. Because uh, Leia has that pistol in the new hoop. Ah, uh, I the very, see. With the very long baffle on the barrel. I see. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, next. I like it. Let's go for the other lady. Yes. Romero. Uh, yes, and I love this design. Just running up over a box mm. to actually get a shot down at someone is very, very cool. And you could have a lot of fun. I know you've been experimenting with doing some wood effects recently, Jerry. Yep. So, I don't know. Seeing that your wood effects done on this miniature could be very, very gorgeous. And our last one? And our last, but by no means least, that is Procopio. Yes, with a high-powered laser rifle of yep. some sort again. I do Lovely like... the big duster. Yeah, I like the big duster. I like, again, that nice sense of wind and motion that's not been taken to, like, ridiculous levels. Mm. You know, you see sometimes the end of a duster and it's just like, out the side. I, I don't mind that. I don't know. I think it's just too much. This is I, just I, enough. I've had my trench coat blow out the side like that before. Yeah, but Dead. it doesn't look cool. Of course it looks cool. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah. That's the whole point of wearing them. Um, I will say that, like always, the build on them is very, very clean and crisp. Mm. And they, they go together without any major problems. So yeah. I always dry fit first anyway, just on the off chance. Yeah. It's, it's one thing work will do really well is the, the keying for the different leg and arm and yeah. you know, head components. Everything always goes in the right position. Mm. Yes, they've went for that single pose sort of style of building miniatures. Yeah. But I kind of like that because you get an epic pose at the end of it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. If mm. you're not, maybe if you're doing multi-part plastic and you want lots and lots of miniatures, but mm. where you're playing a game and nearly everybody is an individual hero, mm -hmm. Oh, you're much better off just doing that. Yeah, well, I mean, like, the, the, only, the only faction in this game that even kind of has that has to be the Union, because they have, like, a frontline soldier. They are yeah. the U.S. military. Yeah. But even then, there's enough just subtle differences between the units mm. that even if you had two units of the same type on the table, mixing them up and changing where people are in the units or on the table, you're not going to have a lot of duplicates that are yeah. close together. I like it. I love them. Mm -hmm. And these can be used with multiple factions. Yes. Because they're some sort of... Mercenaries. Mercenaries. Yes. You know, pay them the gold. They'll be happy to, you know, shoot that guy over there for you, stab them in the throat, sick that dog on them, bite their kneecaps off. Drill them. Drill them in the unmentionables. <laughs> That's why you give a drill face to your dog. <laughs> Just coming in at the right height. I now understand, unfortunately, and I will never forget. <laughs> Where do dogs go when they go to sniff? <laughs> no. Give them a drill face. Go nuts. Uh, Literally. This reminded me of a horrible move from Japan that I can't mention. Anyway, everybody, I tell you what, get your comments down below. Tell us what you think of the Golden Army. They are a gorgeous set. We will move on. We will see you again very soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.